I believe it. I'm not up on my old Mesopotamian, Babylonian, Sumerian gods. I do not have my uh, open spirit guide with me. Haha. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Steel. And I'm Teal. And we're with Studio Blue. Today we're doing a Let's Play of Pathway Desire by Nerwanda. So I like the 8-bit ship tune thing going on. It reminds me of the older you know, Nintendo RPGs. Yeah. Not like in the black screen. Oh, well, there so. needs to be some kind of picture up there. Yeah, even if it's a pixelated picture or something. Yeah. All right, let's jump on in. Hold A to skip dialogue. Okay. okay. I felt darkness surrounding me. An emotional void. The blackness was inside me. And all around me, I was afraid and cold. So very cold. Go for it. Oh. Erica, wake up. The time is nigh. Time is nigh? Where am I? I seem to have gotten lost. One does not simply get lost and end up here. What do you mean? Where is here? Who are you? <laughs> if you don't know, then it's not my place to tell. My name is Bale, Erica. <laughs> we will speak again. Yes, that's a boy's voice. Yeah. Baal is actually a uh, name for an old god. I think it's Babylonian. Mm -hmm. Baal. I believe it. I'm not up on my old Mesopotamian, Babylonian, Sumerian gods. I do not have my uh, open spirit guide with me. Haha. <laughs> okay. What a strange dream. A cave. When did I get here? I guess I should take a look around. Okay, so we had a well-written intro, a short dialogue between Bale and Erica, and now we're just dropped right into the action. If you're not going to have the epic opening, this is definitely one of the ways to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Gets us right into the game. So, good job there. Um, just speaking of which, for old video games, old Nintendo games that have amazing openings, I would check out Crystallis, which is hands down one of my favorite Nintendo 8-bit games. Uh, Star Tropics also. Oh yeah, Star Tropics. Mm -hmm. uh, those had um, and the original Final Fantasy. Those had amazing uh, eight-bit openings. So just check yeah. those out if you need inspiration. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's save our game. No items, no weapons, no armor, no key items. Do we have any skills? Okay, we, we do. do have some skills. Flamboyant. Flame. flame and pros. So what's flamboyant? Attack that makes the music more ugly. Okay, so ah, it is like a taunt. Right. And then we have a fire element and sleepy. Okay. No passive. Nothing. Okay. Okay. And we actually have a little... I like that. Did you see that right here? Uh-huh. Uh, you actually equip your skills. I like that. Okay. And then equipment. Long sword and leather armor. All right. Let's go into. We got here skulls, mushrooms, rocks. Some rocks, mound of duty. dirt. Yeah, that's probably. And probably. a sack. Yeah, a sack. Aha! Tonic. Oh, cool. We got Phoenix salts. Desire begins. Interesting. A goblin? Can't I just catch a break? <laughs> Ugh, it's your funeral. First you perform all your action, then it's your enemy's turn. There's no agility stat to determine turn. Order you can really swap between party members. Suit so your strategy. Each member starts with two actions per turn, but that number can be increased by expending KP. Knowledge points are awarded after a battle, and their use must be divided amongst party members. Use KP to learn combat skills and passives. Combat skills need to be equipped to be used while passives are always in effect. Recover one MP. And duck. So, too long. TLDR. Uh, <laughs> cut it in half. 
just give us the basics of what we need for the first battle for this one, and then talk about that other stuff, the knowledge points, later on. Oh, okay, so when we attack, we actually use a skill. We don't just have attack, attack. And then we have focus. Okay. Focus. focus does something. Okay. Let's attack. Didn't seem to do much of nothing. Okay, let's put this enemy to sleep. Yeah. Ooh. So, I'm not sure how I feel about not having a regular attack. It feels a little weird. What do you think, Gil? Uh, yeah, there needs to be a, an attack that doesn't cost any points or anything. Just Right, no you effects. Just, you, just, you just hit. Yeah. You just hit and do standard damage. Yeah. I agree. It's just, it's too weird. It's too, it's too, it's too, um... It's too off-putting from what the general zygost is of RPG. So you just have a attack, right? A straight up attack. Mm. Yay! A little happy flip. That's cute. Bye bye, goblin. It's a dead. It's an ex goblin. Uh huh. Another goblin. But first we have a crack in the wall. Oh, okay. Fine, goblin. <laughs> goblin first, crack later. Yeah. Look how cute those little goblin sprites are. Yes. You know, it kind of looks like Piglet. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Like evil Piglet. Little, little Piglets. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. All right, heavy goblin. Try to put him to sleep. Haha. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Nope, didn't work. But it took off a nice chunk of health. Yeah. Apparently they're weak to that. It's pretty cool. So they're doing poison. Do we have a curative item for poison? Uh, yeah, I probably need to go use one of those. We use it after this fight. Or now? No, I can kill one hit. I don't know if you saw that very briefly. The enemies reappeared after the battle was over. Uh, might want to check your engine. Yeah, the enemies so very briefly that. appeared on very screen. Very briefly, so yeah. flash. All right. HP, MP, cover. No. And we can't use it outside of battle. So. Interesting. Okay. So I have just a couple of issues with, the, okay, with go this ahead. battle system. Uh, first of all, as we've already mentioned, um, you're having to spend MP. Is that M MP just just to do an attack? Well, flamboyant doesn't cost an MP, no, but it still I has an effect. The other attacks. Oh they yeah, have yeah, a yeah, cost, yeah. Right. A one and a two, and I don't like spending my MP if, to to attack. If that's just not cool. I, I just want to attack and not have to spend anything. MP is, is kind of hard to come by. So, it, it, MP restoratives. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't like that. Sorry. Right. It just doesn't work for me. Okay. Uh, the other, other problem I have is that you're throwing out status ailments without us having a way to cure those status ailments. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Very true. And that's something that Teal and I bitch about a lot in yeah. these Let's Plays. Feel, you gotta poison me. Cool. Poison me. But I need some antidotes. Right. Or a power that says, cure poison! Right. And there's nothing wrong with having a uh, an enemy drop, an enemy that causes poison drop the item that cures poison. Yeah, that's pretty common to do, yeah. actually. Let's, what's in our treasure box? What's in the box? A tonic. Okay. Always okay. useful. So I'm kind of getting the feeling that unless there's an overworld, this is a dungeon crawl adventure, which is fine. 
Let's see if there's actually a uh, an overworld here or towns or if it's just you're in a dungeon nonstop. Okay. Oh, look at these little anteaters. They're adorable. <laughs> the goblin mage, great. Oh. You know, those usually kick my ass. Yeah. Doesn't matter what game I play. If I have a goblin mage, especially in Elder Scrolls, yeah. <laughs> tank things just set me on fire, blow me up. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's spend some PP. We need to get smart. Oh, we need like 10 KP for everything? Looks like it. Okay. Which KP do I have again? Uh, where's my KP? Need more KP. Where's my KP? Uh, where's the KP points? How do I know what my KP is? I'm guessing I have enough for this stuff. Numbers there. Three, one, two, one, 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 one. I have. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's the amount of MP it costs. I don't know. There's not enough of an explanation. Okay, this is so where a tutorial. What's two CD and what's negative CD? Okay, so two CD. I'm assuming is, is cooldown. Okay. And negative CD means no cooldown. I'm guessing. I, okay. I am just purely subjective. Uh, this is where if you can't teach us this in the game, provide a manual. Oh a yeah. A little HTML file with a manual. That would be freaking fantastic. Yeah. Recover. Yes, there we go. Heal status. Learn out. Still don't know how much KP I, I have. I have no idea how much KP we have. Is it, Can we go back and maybe there's a status menu? No? Wow. Ah. No. Eh. Treasure chest. Yeah. I like treasure chests. Haha! <laughs> Padded armor! <laughs> yeah. That actually drops our oh. stamina but raises our evasion. It only drops by one point. Yeah, uh, let's take it because evasion? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Neat sound effects. Yes, and I, the cool part is. You're gonna love this, guys. That is hitting me in the. Uh, we have a surround sound system, and it's hitting me in the back right area. <laughs> so I just hear this little coming up from behind. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's fight. Oh. Goblin mage and a standard warrior. Oh, it's a heavy. Ooh. He has a bigger, thicker poke stick. <laughs> Yeah, that worked. We evaded. Sweet. Ooh, that didn't work. Uh-oh. That, that worked against us. Yeah. We should sleep. Go to sleep. Bad. Tonic of happiness. You know, if it if it, the sleep actually works, the, shouldn't uh -huh. there be some Z's above the character sprite? Yeah. There should be something. Because to me, to my mind, the sleep is never working. Right. Right. There should be some indicator uh, that the sleep has worked, even if it's a, if it's not a bunch of Z's, an icon, something, mm -hmm. something, so we know the enemy has fallen asleep. Oh yay! Sure. Either. God knows we need it since we're spending MP to attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got this little dude. Hey, where's recover? Didn't I buy recover? Uh, you have to equip it. Oh, ah ha ha! See, it's another time that either a quick tutorial or a um manual would help. 
Because, yeah, I didn't remember that. That's on me. Erica stabs with ice. Good job. Hey, nice. Too bad we got hit. Oh, well. All right, let me go ahead and... Whip. There we go. There we go. Yeah, oh, the strategy oh, okay. is you, you only have a limited slot, so you have to decide what you're going to focus on. Right. And change it up for the situation. Yeah. This is actually pretty cool. Now that I realize that and I'm not stepping all over myself, um, yeah, it actually is. It's pretty cool. Hmm. All right, let's continue going through the crack. Bale's claw. claw. Oh, yeah. A room someone used to live here. Judging from these bones, this was a long time ago. I see a sparkler. Yeah. Bale is the frozen blade that cleans desire. Frigidness, we reach illumination and lose the desires that chain us. Okay. Hey, recover. Yeah, this guy's a squatter. He is. <laughs> okay, he is asleep because it said plus sleep. Okay. But it didn't. It's not really. But there's no other indication that this enemy's asleep. Right. Boo. No, he's not asleep. Yeah, we hit him. We woke him up. Oh, okay. I see. So we can do a regular attack and then end with frozen. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting the strategy down here. Yay, tonic! Ooh, chain mail. Wait, what's the chain mail do? Stamina Ooh, it brings up our stamina considerably, but Ooh, drops our shoot. evasion. Shoot, evasion goes way down. I don't think so. I will keep it. This this high evasion is actually doing well for us. Yeah. Oh, there's our KP. Look. Wait, where? I'm sorry. Look oh, the down there. 8 KP. All right. All right. Okay. Still would be really nice to have <laughs> KP on this menu here. Yeah. Hi. Anywho. Kill, 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 kill. I'm actually enjoying fighting in this game. A lot of these games, I, I like. I feel kind of the fights are repetitive, and it bores me after a bit. This, I, I, I don't mind it. I'm actually enjoying it. The the fights here are quick. Yeah, they're quick. There, there's an element of strategy, and I just made these two goblins look stupid. <laughs> I see. Well, they now you have 12 KP. You can buy something else. Yay. Guardian. Yeah, let's buy a pass. Let's make ourselves more absorbent to damage. Yeah. Okay. We do a regular attack. Then we do frozen and try to put this. Oh, and then we skip this turn. And we beat the snot out of him. Wash, rinse, repeat. I'm getting it. See, I can be taught. Are these regular old goblins? These are regular old goblins. I'm trying to put them both to sleep. That didn't work. Oh, I'll well, find. To sleep you go. <laughs> Die. Erica slashes elegantly. She does. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Kind of cute. He's guarding that treasure chest most diligently. <laughs> hmm. 
This is neat. Anti-Earth. Anti-Earth. Is that a parameter? Must be miscellaneous. Yeah. Cool. I like this. You know, this game is starting to grow on me. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not really a fan of dungeon crawl games. Like, I do not like Diablo at all. But <clears throat> this is actually kind of fun. Ooh, that one just died. Cool. Let's kick his butt. Yay, ethers. Ooh. Ooh nice. Okay. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. <laughs> Unless you ask nicely. The name's Valda. What's yours? E Erica? Don't be shy. Those like us on death's threshold should stick together. Ooh, I got some information right there. I'm not shy. I just haven't been feeling well since entering this cave, I guess. What do you mean by death's threshold? Oh, aren't you a clueless one? We have been chosen. We're special. We're sacrifices to whatever it is down here. You don't seem to have that many clues either. There wasn't much time to ask for explanations in between visiting a foreign town and getting clobbered in the head. And dragged down here. Become a missionary. Spread the word of the Divine Lady Ilaria on faraway lands. I could wring Brother Thomas's neck right about now. So they just kidnapped and dumped you in here. No explanation given? There were the usual. Consider yourself honored to be chosen. This is for the good of us all. Frankly, I stopped listening. I imagine you were in a similar situation. I I'm not sure. They hit you on the head a little too hard, huh? Don't worry, we'll find a way out and make them pay. I'm more concerned about the immediate danger. Yeah, there's that too. <clears throat> Lead on, I guess. You might want to take a look at this slab. It is quite curious. It sounds religious, but it's no religion I've ever heard of. Valda joins the party. Yay, we have another person. Priestess. The priestess. Well, let's see what she can do. She can knock, crack, heal. Okay. Heal and debuff. Okay. Something here. What's her statty stats? Oh, that stamina needs to go up. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Raising your girl's stamina up. Yeah. Then that character class always has low stamina. Mm-hmm. Those lacking desire, rejoice, for yours is the path to sanitation. Sa Sa satiation. Sanitation. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's a very unusual word. Yes. Those lacking a will to dominate, rejoice, for yours is the road to rule. Those not promising salvation shall find it. May those who search never find. So says Bale, ruler of... Ruler foe, the cold kingdom. I think that's of. I think it's supposed to be of. The cold kingdom. It's Molag Ball. Yeah. Does the name Bale mean anything to you? Can't say I've heard it before, no. Hmm. And same. Phoenix Salt. And anti-stun. Ooh, we're gonna put that on our healer. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Raise our stamina up even more. Yay, okay, good. They're both going to Save. be anti-butt kick. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
cold feeling enveloped you in your pouch of story. Go ahead and no. Make sure I'm saved. Okay. There. Now I am third. Let's do this thing. Yeah, go ahead. Aha! This looks like the friendly sword. It almost seems like you're enjoying this. Maybe I am. Hmm. Heads up, here he comes. That is a big hammer. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Nice music. Yeah, I like it. Alright, so let's try cracking. Sweet. And let's try sleeping. That don't work. Lost on. Yay, I hit the weak point. Didn't do shit or nothing. Oh my god, someone got their ass just handed He just healed on. one MP. Yeah, he did. Alright, let's heal. Wow. All the... Yeah. Bring down that stamina. Let's attack with Frozen. Oh, he's asleep. Good. Focus. Yeah. Focus. Crack. All I did was take the sleep off. Meh. What's execute? I have no idea. I would need explanation. I'm afraid to touch it. Yeah. A tutorial or a tome would be nice. Yes. Or that HTML manual we just talked about. All right. Uh, let's have Valda heal herself. Have healer and who heals. Keep that stamina down, right? What's uh, up? It's not really working. Not really. It's, I see minus eight, but I don't see stamina down. I think his stamina's already down, yeah. Okay, well then, great. We'll just keep it down. Ogre attack twice, ah! Ogre kick some butt. Yeah. All right, heal thyself position and then heal Erica while you're at it. Well, at least we're hitting his weak point. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Die. Yay. So we got little tokens up there that tell us how many turns we have. <laughs> how, cool. many, how many actions we get before yeah. it's not our turn anymore. Nice. It's pretty nice. You actually get to read up. Uh... So you have four little tokens. Mm -hmm. so you can do four actions before it's the enemy's turn. I think that's how it works. I think so. Having no tutorial? I'm just guessing. <laughs> Got a heavy move. Elixir! Protection plus one. Yeah. It seems you've gained a new ally. Is what she said Is what she said true? Are we here to satisfy an evil lurking within the depths? Is that evil you? You amuse me. And if that were the case? You'll have to have some sick sense of humor contacting me like this. There is no evil here. No grand all-encompassing darkness waiting at the end of the road. And you're not here to satisfy any of my desires, Erica. Ha! Can I trust you? Nope. <laughs> Can you trust her? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that was exhilarating. You're one weird priestess. Right. Maybe you just have a very narrow idea of what a priest is. 
come on, we gotta move. We won't accomplish anything by staying here. She's the priestess of some sex cult. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Different. Now this is an environment I'm more familiar with. Yeah, underground. Okay, it's not without its peculiarities, but I've always felt at peace in consecrated places, even if they belong to an unknown deity. It's like there's a whole hidden civilization down here with its own gods and customs. My inner academic is fascinated. A more pragmatic part is concerned about my life being in danger. If, when we get out of here, this, I have to convince Mother Sophia to organize an expedition to these tunnels. This is kind of neat. Change, the level change is very stark. Yeah. May Vitalia's holy fire give this world purpose. Okay. Deceivers Hall. More explorers? I wasn't informed of this. This place sure is crowded. Not that I mind the company, but who are you? I am called Faith, a scholar from Lyseria. I'm investigating these ruins. You mean, you entered from a regular entrance? Of course! What kind of question is that? Is there any other way to enter? You and Valda explained, explained, explained your stories. That can't be true. The villagers were extremely friendly to me. They allowed me to explore the ruins without trouble. <laughs> of course they were. They had a willing sacrifice. We're getting all wicker man on us. For all I know, you're both raiders. Why should I trust you? It's true, you have no reason to trust us. But please, don't be so wary. We mean you no harm. At least believe that. Please. Very well. You at least seem like a decent sort, unlike your friend. I'll trust you, for now. <laughs> so, could you show us this entrance you came in through? I wish I could, but I seem to have triggered some sort of security mechanism, and the doors closed behind me. We would need to find a way to open them. How convenient. And you're suspecting me now? Fair is fair, sis. Please, ladies, let's keep this civil and search for a way out of here together. You attract some interesting people to your side. I do not have that skill. Is that so? From that slab I read, it seems as if people here worshipped you. Being worshipped doesn't require merit. Not like earning someone's respect does. You're one vulnerable deity. I have issues with my mother. Yeah. Maybe I want you to understand me. And what will come next. Cool. I figured it out. What? Bill wants Erica to be his bride. Ooh. <laughs> to the scala maid. Actually, they did sacrifice young virgins to, uh... They did. To, to Bale and they all did. those other Mesopotamian they gods. Absolutely did. So let's put on Valda's heavy mace. Yep. It just lowers everything except the evasion. Yeah. I'm not feeling that. Faith is a scholar. There we go. Okay. What in the world is that it's thing? It's a floating eyeball. He's a floating eyeball. Uh, it looked like a weird turtle scooting. <laughs> what, why am I being attacked by three enemies? Okay. 
Divine schmidge, divine schmidge, and a gurgoyle. I must say, these uh, enemy character sprites are very interesting. In a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to agree. That gargoyle looks like Onward Men! Right. And the two flap flaps behind him are like, yes, sir. Who just threw that fireball? Is that Faith? Faith, now why is the why is the divine shade not going down but the gargoyle is? I don't understand. Uh moderate non-elemental magic damage. There we go. Against the divine shade. I want to kill it. Am I losing something? Uh, I'm not catching something. I feel like Eric is stunned. Yeah. Yeah, Gargoyle doesn't like fire. No, he does not. He does not at all. Okay, he's gone. Is Erica confused? I think Erica's confused. Uh, or was confused. it looks like confusion. Yeah. Evaded. Okay. That sucks. Okay, gone. Yeah, wow, wow, that was a lot. Yeah, let's finish this thing off. Okay. Okay. Things are going by a little fast on there, so it's kind of difficult to understand exactly what was happening. Yeah. Whoa! These people must have been very devout. We don't have worship rooms this big at the Temple of Mercy. It must be quite a sight, you trying to act formal for a religious ceremony. I take religion seriously, girl. Objectives may define a person, but it is faith that gives meaning to their soul. Hmm. I'm sorry to see another side of you, says the girl named Faith. Right. I'm not sure if I should be flattered or take offense at that. I'm sure she meant it in the best of ways. Isn't that right, Faith? Uh, of course, the best of ways. Natalia Domina is the flame and creation. She is the great mother. Magic robe. I approach. I approve. Yeah. Three action let's see what he pulls. Stamina is fifteen. Stamina thirteen. Stamina ten. Yeah, we're gonna increase faiths. Stamina. Stamina. What is it now? Now it's pretty cool. Okay. Let's get out of here. I do not want to get attacked by all this stuff. Yeah. And I get attacked. You run right I into run it. I run right into it like a moron. It looks <sighs> like those heavenly avatars are kind of leaning on their swords and going, Hi, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. They're also wearing shades. They are. Faith in her fireballs. Yep. Cool, dead. Flarg, I am dead. Flarg, I am dead. Yay, stamina down. I are blind. Blind. Ooh. Let's see if we can put the, put the other one to sleep. Yay! Yay. It's sleeping. Good now we time. Can focus stuff. Wow, that's almost gone, man. Good. 
Okay. Yay, stamina down. Yay! <clears throat> And I did it. Sweet. Okay, the exit this room. Uh-huh. Now save your game. Okay. Now attack this enemy and use execute. I want to see what that does. Okay. Let's see what execute does. I have absolutely no idea what I just did, other than get my butt. <laughs> so let us execute. Skip your turn. Auto run. I have no idea what that what just <laughs> happened. Uh, I guess we'll never use that again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Lesson learned. Don't ever use it. Yeah. Sadness. The enemy is called sad. Oh, is it part one? It is part one. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points if you know what we're talking about. Okay, our girl Faith is about to die. Yeah, we need to heal her. That helped. Yeah, it did. And stunned. Good. Sweet. And her damage, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Oh, wait, it whoa. Evaded, yeah. It evaded. Yeah. Yeah, definitely somehow the damage is getting deferred. Uh, the thing is happening too quickly for me to read exactly what's going on. Yeah. But I'm targeting one enemy and another enemy's taking the damage. So maybe it's like a jump cover where they jump in front of their ally. I can't tell. It's happening too quickly. Hmm. Alright, let's heal some peeps. There we go. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, and it didn't wake him up either. That's awesome. Now oh, he's up. Yeah, that was the word. And uh -huh. he's asleep again. And now he's dead. Mm. Die, 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 die. I think we can uh, buy up some more knowledge. I think we can. But, but I'm going to be honest with you. It's more of the same. <laughs> yeah. I think we can call it here. Okay. Um, Honestly, I have no problems with the layout of the game. The layout of the dungeons or the characters really my biggest issue is just the the battle engine even though it's very quick i really don't know what's going on we don't know what's going on that that's that's a problem that can be fixed with a, a manual a tutorial yeah. uh something i would prefer a manual either either a tome you pick up in game or a separate little html file as, as steel said yeah. But we definitely need to have an explanation of how stuff works. Right. Jumping in here blindly is not the way to play a dungeon crawler game. Nah. Dungeon crawler games like Diablo require a lot of front loading of information, usually through the manual. Right. So that the player knows exactly what they're getting into and they can just play the game. And that seems like what you're trying to do here is just have us play the game, which I appreciate. Mm hmm. So. Follow those instructions, and I, honestly, I'm going to be honest, Teal, most of the games we Let's Play, we don't really recommend a manual. For this one, I think we can we say... We do. We need a manual yeah. for this. Give us an HTML file with some pretty pictures, some little arrows pointing here and there, a little description of what the icons mean, and uh, let it front load us Right. so that we can, uh, not in the game, front load us with the manual so that we can jump into the game just and just start playing it. Because that's what this game is all about. It, it's it's uh, kind of it's laid back. It's relaxing. 
I could easily spend it. Hey, I'm going to jump in this game, play it for an hour, right. and then go do something else, and then come back and play it some more. Right. But this this is one of those kind of games where it's just it's cool it's to pick up and play it, and it's low stress. I like that. It really is. It's cool. And the cool thing that I can say story-wise is that there's not a lot of stress on the story. There is a story here, there's and it is engaging. Absolutely. But there's not a lot of stress to, like in an epic RPG or a JRPG, where you're trying to figure things out from the start. Right now, I, I, I want to know things, but right. I'm, I'm willing to let the game bring the information to me. Mm -hmm. so. and, and there's no, there's no real... Uh, huge psychological tension either like i said this game is is low stress and i really enjoy games like that you yes. can just uh pick it up play it for a while uh, and then put it down do something else and come back and play it it, it, it really is cool yeah we need we need games like this too seriously we, we need we games like this uh, so <clears throat> ultra kudos to your effort so far and the fact yeah. that it looks like an old 8-bit nintendo game oh that's just fun nostalgia it yeah. really is it really is so, good job there. Um, I, don't, I don't mind the black and white. Um, I'm kind of... It's interesting. I've never... I don't think I've ever played a black and white game uh, in this... I haven't played a black and white game in decades. Yeah, it's been a long time. This, this is interesting that you've chosen to make this all black and white. The last black and white game we played was Limbo. Remember that side-scroller? That oh, Explorer side-scroller? Oh, boy. That's... Yeah, that's, and that was about four or five years ago. Yeah. So it's been a long time since we've played. And, but, but, and, but well, a, that was you playing it. I didn't play it. True. Okay. But no. a black and white RPG, I don't think I've ever done that before. Mm -mm. So this so is... Th this, this is a very interesting uh, stick. really is. Um, I think... I think what you can do for your uh, title page is just have just a dungeon corridor with some neat things on it. Yeah. Just a little something like that. Uh, kind of give you some ideas. Um, or maybe Erica lying there before she wakes up in the middle of the room from the beginning. Something yeah. like that. Something like that. Or even just a picture of a bale. Yeah. Yeah, give us an idea what bale looks like. All right, if you have any questions, let us know, um, Nawanda, and uh, good job so far. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, keep, keep it up. All right. If you like what you saw, leave a smack down the like button below. Subscribe to us. Notifications on our channel. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Connect with us over Discord, Facebook, Twitter, and we will see you in the next video. We'll see you next time.